Hello and welcome back to another food troll, a working man's food review page. Today we have travelled 2 hours 13 minutes. We have covered a distance of 98 long, long miles to come to a town called Nelson, Lancashire to check out a place called Lala's. Oh, before I forget, check out our sponsor. It's C. John Plumbing's cool name see John for your plumbing needs he's based up in Durham in the Northeast cheap fast effective honest I've used him myself he is brilliant and get this he's even offered to help out the old and the vulnerable on Christmas Day so if you're old and vulnerable you have any issues on Christmas Day he will come out and do your heating for you and even better he won't even charge you a penny that's the kind of guy he is Nice one, John. You are the man. Right, going back to my review, we are here at Lala's in Nelson, Lancashire. I've checked this place out on Google. 73 reviews, 3.7, which is pretty average. But I'm not here to check out the menu. I'm here to check out their famous Tuck Tuck Kebab. Yep, you heard it. Tuck Tuck Kebab. Now, I can't wait to get my teeth into this. Anyway, off the point, Lala in Punjabi means brother now then yep that was nice for me give me a little wave as he went past in Punjabi Lala means brother so let's go inside pardon the pun and let's see if they've got any brotherly love for me a lot of people being very uh, welcoming giving me hands up and saying hello I think that's, that's probably because I was parked in the bus lane but never mind anyway let's go in and check this place out right first things first apologies for the quality of camera because I've had a bit of a burden. I got down here for one o'clock and I realized that Lala's doesn't open at three o'clock. So I've had something to eat in the meantime. Anyhow, I've been to Lala's, I've got the Taka Tuck Kebab. I told the guy at the shop, the owner, I said, look, I've been here since one o'clock in Nelson, waiting for you guys to open them and I've had something to eat and I was gonna review your kebab. He assures me that the kebab even if I eat it tomorrow morning and warm it up, it'll taste just as good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive home in this wet and miserable weather. It's gone dark, it started raining. So I'm going to drive back home and I'll uh, get myself settled in and get me PJs on. And I'll get stuck into this, ch ch what was it again? Tuck a tuck, tick a tuck, tuck a tuck, whatever they call it. Tuck a tuck kebab. I'll be getting stuck into that. So I'll see you, I'll see you guys when I get home. Well, it's been a long day. It's been a very long day. Now the question I want answering, has the fuss been worth it? What's all the fuss been about? Let's take a look. Check it out, the Tucker Tuck Kebab. You got a bit of kebab meat, you got chicken tikka, you got onions, you got peppers, and surprisingly you've also got a bit of lamb sheesh, all pan fried in what seems to be a lovely thick sauce. Now, one thing I wanna tell you now, you get the Tucker Tuck Kebab in three varieties. You can have it, have it in a Dora Kebab, the Taka Taka Kebab, you can have the Taka Taka Tuck Pizza, and then you can have the Taka Tuck Calzoni. And I think that's a good idea. So you've got three variations. If you don't like the kebab, you can try it on a pizza. If you don't like the pizza, you can try it on a calzoni. Now I paid six pound fifty for this bad boy, and I tell you what, it's huge. Six pound fifty. I've even got some left for dinner tomorrow. So all you guys, my work colleagues. I'm going to be video linked tomorrow, so if you want to catch me at dinner time and try some of this bad boy, by all means, come down and check this place. Check it out. It just looks absolutely unreal. Now, remember, guys, before I review this food, this review page is a working man's food review page. I mean, there are better kebabs out there. If you want to pay 13, 14, 15 pounds for a kebab, by all means, go and pay for one. It'll probably be better than this. But... What I review is working man's foods, working man's takeaways. So whatever ratings I give, it's going to be according to that. Now then, let's dive in and see what this. Let's see what the fuss is about. Right, let's check this out. Let's get a bit of kebab meat. I think I'm going to start off with the kebab meat. It's got a bit of sauce on. I'm going to see if I can focus it in for you guys. Can you see that kebab meat? It's like been it's pan fried in a nice thick creamy sauce. Let's check it out. Once again, a strong taste of kebab meat. But the sauce that it's been pan fried in, 
it really does complement the kebab meat. It puts like a coating on it. It is hot. It is spicy. I didn't ask for a mild or a hot or a spicy. I just asked for a regular taka -tuk kebab. Chicken tikka. Let's take a look at that. Also, I'm going to dip it in a bit of the sauce. I don't know whether you can see that. It's got, I'll try focusing in on it. There we go. Yeah. Let's see. Try that. Same sort of texture with that sauce, but the sauce seems to complement the chicken a bit differently. It's got a bit of a different taste to it once it gets jingled in with that chicken. The chicken isn't quite as tender as I thought it would have been. Maybe because I've travelled another two and a half hours here. Maybe if I caught it warm, it would have been a lot more tender. I'm going to go ahead and try some of this lamb sheesh now. Put some of that sauce on. I must say the sauce is really nice and thick and creamy. A lot of the times the sauces can be runny, but the sauce on this kebab is thick, like a thick gravy texture to it. Oh man, that is unreal. That really has been worth the drive up. I'm gonna show you the sheer size of that thing. You see the colours in it and everything. It looks, it looks, actually it tastes as good as it looks. I'm gonna try all three together. Kebab, chicken and the sheesh. Oh wow. Something else about the sauce. Sometimes the sauce can be too strong and it takes over the taste of the meats. This sauce seems to complement the meats and it brings together this whew, fusion, but it is a bit spicy. I will say that. Nam bread. Now, nam bread is one of those things that are hard to master. Now, the thing, ah, let's have a look. Let's put the nam bread. You've got to realize that this thing is about two and a half hours old. I've had to reheat it. See that? There's definitely something going on with that. The sauce has drenched into the nam bread. So hence the nam bread is no longer a nam bread. It's like a curried nam bread. It's got sauce drenched in it. So when you bite into it, even if it is going to be dry, the sauce has made sure that the texture is still there. I also got some sauces. Because as you know, I'm a big sauce man. Sorry about my camera guys. As I said, it's a working man's food review, so the tools I'm using are for working class as well. So, <laughs> garlic sauce. Oh. First, I mean, first impression, it looks a bit runny. Is it going to have that creamy texture, creamy taste, which I like? Let's check it out. Not the best garlic sauce I've had. It's a bit too runny. Uh, it's got more of a herby flavour than it has a garlic flavour. Hence why I always carry this bad boy with me. Ha <laughs> ha! If I don't like the garlic sauce, chuck some of this bad boy on Nando's. You've got to try it out. It goes with chicken, goes with kebabs, goes with pizzas, goes with more or less everything. So I'm going to try it with this. Get a roll for that on there. Oh wow, that is a nice kebab, honest to God, the only thing I can fault is the chicken, but the kebab meat and the lamb sheesh and the peppers and the onions, they cook to perfection and they complement the meats really really well and like I said the nam bread is nice as well. They offer this kebab 
with either naan breads or chips. I would definitely recommend getting it with the naan bread because the naan bread makes it more of a meal. And once the, like I said earlier, once the sauce drenches into that naan bread, wah, good things happen. If there is a heaven, this is it, mate, I'm telling you. Wow. Now then, like all takeaways, there has to be a decent drink. Guess what these bad boys are stocking? And I've not had one of these for a while. Voila! A Rubicon sparkling mango. Exotic, mate, I'm telling you. This just goes off in your mouth, mate, I tell you. Get a swig of that. Well, Lala's, you definitely have showed me some brotherly love. Now then, this place is in Nelson, Manchester Road. And they have burgers, they do pizzas, they do calzones, they do kebabs. And give, going off this, what I've had now, I think the food is decent. Uh, score time. Wow. Now, keep in mind what I said earlier about this being a working man's review. It's not... You know, you can go to Chelsea or London or somewhere and pay £60 for a kebab. Chances are it might be, might be a lot better. But I paid £6.50 for this meal, for this bad boy. £6.50. And I will be eating this now and I'll be eating it tomorrow for my dinner at work. So, all things considered, the garlic sauce I wasn't happy with. All things considered, I'm going to give this uh, mm, 7 point nine and that is a very very respectable total believe me absolutely chuffed with that really enjoyed it if you enjoyed the review drop some comments tell me where to come next i don't mind traveling once this covid is done i will be everywhere so if any decent places you can recommend please let me know drop some comments and let me know what you guys think where's your favorite kebab do you think kebabs should be pan fried with all these onions and peppers or should we just leave it as a traditional kebab that's it for today guys, that's been a review and it's been the food troll, it's been emotional. I'll see you next time.